it's Lali and my name is Lita and today I'll be doing a college apartment haul. This video will be part one of my back to school series which will include videos like DIY room decor slash storage and an apartment tour just to name a few. So stay tuned for future videos in the back to school series. school year I'll be a sophomore at Mississippi State University, meaning last year I lived in a dorm, so this will be the first ever apartment I ever move into. I wanted to go ahead and preface something real quick. For my apartment complex I have three other roommates. We each get our own bedroom and bathroom, but we have to share the kitchen and the living room, which is completely fine. Our apartment complex also comes fully furnished, meaning the living room has a couch and a coffee table, while our bedrooms have a bed frame, mattress, desk, chair, and under the bed storage. My roommates and I have also talked and we also agreed that we would share certain things so this video may not be a complete comprehensive list of everything you might want to have in your apartment but I will leave a PDF file down below with a complete list of everything I think you guys will need for your apartment slash dorm. So since I'm moving into an apartment, there will be a lot of stuff. What I have behind me right now is just my bedroom stuff. I'm going to separate this video into four different parts. Bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, and miscellaneous. I'll leave a timestamp bar down here somewhere. With all that said, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I have here is a comforter set from Bed Bath & Beyond. Last year when I was living in the dorms, I had a twin size bed, but in my apartment this year, we have a queen size bed. So I had to get a new comforter set. She was a little pricey, but since I'll be sleeping in it, I wanted it to be nice and comfortable. I also knew my bed was gonna be the centerpiece of which I revolved the rest of my decoration and furnishing around. So I got this peak and gray, almost chevron slash feathery bedding look, which I love a lot. Now the comforter set I got didn't come with bed sheet. So I had to go to Target and buy separate bed Sheets. This was also a little bit more expensive than what I would have liked to pay for, but it is 100% cotton and it is my preferred material to sleep on. Up next is this throw blanket that I'm currently sitting on. I got this last year at Walmart on Black Friday. It is super soft and comfortable and I didn't see any need to buy another one, so I'm just going to go ahead and bring this guy. The next thing I got is this backrest pillow. I like to read and do homework and do other stuff on my bed. So having this backrest pillow is going to be really nice to have and it also matches the color scheme of my comforter set so that was really nice. I got this from Target and it was pretty cheap, it was like $15. Alright, up next is my uh, curtains and curtain rod. I got my curtains from Amazon and my curtain rod from Walmart. I had both of these last year in my dorm and since I saw no need to buy new ones, I'm just going to go ahead and use them. As I said earlier, my apartment does come with storage drawers, but I wanted to get something to really like help organize all my stuff. So I got this drawer organizer off of Amazon. It, I think it was like $15 and it comes with a lot of compartments to put my stuff in. So I think this will be really nice to help organize my clothing. The next item I have is this storage ottoman. I also had this last year in my dorm. This was really nice because my bed was lifted so I could just step on this and climb onto my bed super easily. I'm just gonna keep this around because it's great for storage. I ended up just storing all my shoes in here and surprisingly they all fit. It's also collapsible so when I do move I could just take out the inner piece and then it'll just fold nicely into just this little piece right here. Next is this over the door hook system. I use this to put all my bags on so that way my floor isn't cluttered with a whole bunch of stuff. Alright, so the next item is this dry erase board slash cork board. It comes with blank calendar which you can fill in every month. It also comes with a whole bunch of uh, little magnets to help you keep track with everything. It also comes with this cork board uh, if you want to just put in like all your notes or something down here. My sister actually got this for me last year as a graduation present and I'm using this again this year because it's just so nice and helpful. The next few items are just a bunch of like lighting. This is just a regular table lamp. I also got this from Walmart and it has like these little compartments that you can store stuff in and like these areas to hold up your phone or whatnot. This is great uh, to just put on your table if you want to study or anything like that. And since lighting is pretty much everything, I got two different types of string lights. This is the bulb ones. I'm probably going to put this over my sand mirror as well as just these curtain string lights which I'm going to put behind my bed just to kind of make like a decorative wall. 
All right, and finally we have a gray trash can. Like I said earlier, my color scheme is pink and gray, and this is just like this basket weave pattern that I really like. I got this from Walmart for super cheap as well. All right, so this next section is the bathroom section. I'm not gonna show like the obvious stuff, like your toothpaste and toothbrush and other general stuff. I'll just be showing you what like some of the bigger ticket items that I got for my bathroom. So the biggest item I got in this section is the over the toilet storage shelf. Space in an apartment and especially a dorm is extremely, extremely limited. And since most people don't usually use the space above the toilet, I thought this would be perfect for my apartment just in case I want to put like extra things on here. I got this at Lowe's. It was on discount. I think the original ticket price was like $70, but you can usually get different ones for much, much cheaper. I actually got this about 50% off, so it was like $30. Alright, to go on top of that over the toilet shelf, I got some wicker baskets with lining. These are great for storage. I got this as whole set off of Amazon. There's five pieces in here. This will store a lot of different things. I can put this on my bathroom counter. I can put this on the little shelf thing. And it's just a really cute way to store your items. Alright, so up next is my shower curtain and shower curtain hooks. I have this pink shower curtain liner and the actual shower curtain that's going to go on the outside. These two go great with the color scheme I have in mind and I found these cute little shower curtain hooks that have little roses on them and I got all three of these items off of Amazon. Next are bath towels and face or hand towels. I know these are like kind of essential for your bathroom, but I wanted to mention the, uh, these anyways. I got these from Target. They're the Threshold Performance Bath Towel. They're so nice. I've used these for several years now. But the main thing I wanted to mention is to bring at least two or three of both sets. These are just nice to have on hand. You never know when you're gonna need extras. All right, so the next items I have is a little promotion for my next video. It's a bathroom set that I DIY'd, but even if you don't watch my next video, it is always nice to have like a hand soap pump, uh, toothbrush holder, and just extra little storage jars for like little items like cotton balls or cotton swabs. And the last item I have in my bathroom is this trash can, which is the same one I showed y'all in my bedroom section. Alright, so this next section is the kitchen section. If you're living in the dorms, you can probably just skip this entire section and go directly to the essential miscellaneous section. But I suggest watching this entire section through because there are a few things that I'm going to mention that were essential to my freshman dorm life experience. Alright, so the first item that I think is essential for both the dorms and apartment is a water filter and water filter replacement. Like I said earlier, space is very limited, so you may not always be able to buy like a whole case of water and just leave that in your dorm. There just may not be enough space for that. Even in an apartment, there just may not be enough space for that. Water filters also help cut down on, on the amount of plastic waste you create from water bottles. I use my water filter almost daily and the water filter was probably one of the most important things I had during my freshman year in my dorm. So so the next item I have is my 11 piece cookware set. You really don't need this much cookware for an apartment, but I got mine kind of cheap from Sam's Club and my roommates and I will be sharing this entire set. So I went ahead and just bought the big one. The only thing you'll really need if you don't want to buy this giant set here is a frying pan and a pot. So this is just really nice to have. I don't know where this was bought. This is actually a hand-me-down from my sister when she was in college. So it's a little beat up, but it still works just fine. This item is definitely not necessary, but it's just a kitchen scale. This is also a hand-me-down from my sister when she was in college, and I thought I'd just bring it along. All right, the next item I have here is this 20-piece night set that I got last year at Walmart on Black Friday. Again, you probably don't need everything that is displayed here, but since it was cheap, I went ahead and bought it anyways. You can probably buy other sets that aren't this colorful for probably about the same price that I bought this for. It may not just have everything here. And next we have this assorted kitchen set that I also got from Black Friday at Walmart last year. I do plan on cooking for myself a lot and I do also like to bake so there's lots of mixing bowls, a colander, measuring cups and measuring spoons and they all come with lids. I really did take advantage of Black Friday last year just to go ahead and buy stuff that I needed. If you're a freshman and you plan on moving into an apartment next year, Black Friday might be a great time for you to go ahead and stock up on a lot of stuff. Like, I literally have had 
a lot of my stuff sitting in my closet at home for months. Alright, the next two items I have are two sets of storage containers. Once again, I bought both of these sets from Black Friday last year at Walmart. Uh, my family has a set of these at home and we just love using these for when we do food preps and stuff. And uh, my boyfriend actually got me this second set down here and he has this same exact set at his apartment he says he loves using them. Now I know I went a little overboard on the storage containers but you never know when you'll need them. Alright, so the next few items I have are just kind of kitchen cooking tools. This set I got from Black Friday last year at Elk. It has a little container and has a lot of the stuff you'll need. I also got this mini slicer from Walmart. This wasn't from Black Friday, but this was decently cheap. This guy will really help quick in my meal prep process. This it's not necessary, but I got it anyway. And then of course, just like a rubber spatula and a, a can opener. Alright, so we're almost done with the kitchen section. So what I have here are plates and bowls and some cups. I got these for like 79 cents at Target. Since I spent a lot of money on this other stuff behind me, I wanted to just buy something cheap that I could eat off of. And it is pretty nice that I got a set of 12 things for less than $10. So the next item I have is a utensil tray. This holds all my utensils. It even expands out to hold other things. So actually, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and open it to show y'all what I mean. It expands out like that. I can now put in like my knives and other things in here. So this is just a nice find. All right, so the last thing in my kitchen section is my flatware set. It's a set of 30, which I got off of Amazon. I really like the pattern on this. It's stainless steel and it matches my cookware set behind me. So basically I have to have it. Alright, so this last section is the essential miscellany section. A lot of the items that I have behind me right now are either items that I find essential that didn't really fit anywhere else or items that I just enjoy using. Alright, the first item we have here is a book bag. Guys, you are in college, you're going to need a book bag to put in your books, your textbooks, your computer, your pens, your pencils, anything really. I did have a book bag last year, but that one was completely torn up after years of use, so I decided to grab a new one for this year. But the reason I got this one is because there's a lot of different compartments in here for me to put all my stuff in, but also because it's waterproof. I can't express to you the number of times I got myself caught in the rain with no umbrella and me worried that my stuff was going to get wet the entire time. There are waterproof book bag covers, but I thought I would just get a waterproof book bag so there's not a second thing I need to hold. Alright, to go along with the rain situation is to have an umbrella. Always carry this around with you, even if you think it's not going to rain that day, all of a sudden it's just going to start raining, so an umbrella is a must. Alright, the next item I have here are these portable utensils. Um, this comes with a spoon, fork, chopsticks, three different types of straws, and a straw cleaner. The reason I have this is just you'll never know when you need utensils, and it also cuts down on the amount of plastic you use when you're out and about eating. This will fit nicely into my bag or my book bag and I can just have this with me at all times. Alright, the next few items I have here are items that could have gone in the bedroom, but I moved them over to the miscellaneous section just because there was a lot of stuff in the first section. So the first item I have here is this little sewing kit. I don't think I'll end up bringing my sewing machine with me, but this thing just has a lot of this stuff that I need if I wanted to sew. And I'm also kind of committed to this whole YouTube thing now, so having a little sewing kit would be very useful throughout the school year. Alright, up next is an extension cord. For some reason, outlets and plugins in the right spot is just such a rare commodity in dorms and apartments. So having an extension cord with lots of little plugins is just something really nice to have. All right, the next item I have here is a handheld vacuum cleaner. My roommates and I have already discussed who was going to be cleaning the cleaning supplies, but since I already had this little vacuum cleaner, I thought I would just go ahead and bring it. It's small and so it doesn't take up that much room, so it was perfect for the door. I got this last year at Bed Bath & Beyond. Alright, the next item I have here are these velvet slim hangers. These are my favorite type of hangers. They significantly reduce the amount of space your clothes take up in your closet and they're non-slip, so my clothes just don't fall off all the time. I got a pack of 50 of these at Sam's Club for about like $12-$13. Alright, so the next item I have here is this little mini mini fridge. I got this last year at Black Friday as well and it doesn't take up all much space. I actually left this on my desk in my architecture studio and I could just put my lunch or some drinks in here. Alright, and the very last item I have in this haul are my cowbells. Um, I do go to Mississippi State University so a cowbell is basically a requirement. However, tradition says that you're not allowed to buy your own cowbell. So, so my sister actually custom made this one for me while I was gifted this one by the president of Mississippi State University. 
Alright, that is the end of my college apartment haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. And if you want to follow my back to school series, please subscribe down below. Thank y'all. Bye!